So just a couple of minutes from the final whistle when we find out who'll be the 1993 Gopher Gold champions. And there are still plenty of scoring opportunities in this final uh, with rapid fire questions to be answered on the buzzer. Now, if you answer incorrectly, you lose possession and the question goes to the other side. And it only takes three correct answers from either team to allow them to go for goal. Stand by for the final round of the cup final. Fingers on the buzzers. Best of luck to both of you. Here we go. How many goals did Kenny Dalgleish score for Scotland? Chester, Arthur. 30. Is correct. Which country lost in the final of the European Soccer Championships in 92? Preston, Liam. Germany. Is correct. Who did Sheffield Wednesday beat in the 1993 FA Cup semi-final? Preston, Liam. Sheffield United. Is correct. Which Welsh club did John Toshak manage from... Chester, Joe. Swansea. Is correct. Who were the last team outside Glasgow and Aberdeen to win the Scottish League? Preston, Liam. Dundee United. In 1983, that's three. Let's go for goal. Name the scorer. Tony Curry. Magnificent goal and a magnificent equaliser. It's Chester three, Preston three. <laughs> team was beaten in the 1993 First Division playoff final. Preston Liam. Leicester. Swindon winning 4-3. Correct. Which player did Port Vale transfer to Norwich in June 1991? Preston Liam. Beckford. Darren Beckford now with Oldham. Who scored the winning goal in the 1993 European Cup final? <laughs> Preston Liam. Basil Bowley. Basil Bowley for Marseille. That's three. Let's go for goal and name the scorer. Right, name the scorer. Dion Dublin. Formerly of Cambridge, now with Manchester United, you're correct. And Preston are in the lead. <laughs> in 1894, Ardwick Football Club changed its name. How is this North West Club now known? Chester Arthur. Manchester City. Is correct. Who was the first England player to be sent off? <laughs> Chester Joe. Alan Mullally. Correct. Which Liverpool University graduate signed for Tranmere Rovers in 19... Chester, Joe. Steve Koppel. Correct, that's three. Now you can go for goal. I'll go first. Peter Dolbing. You're wrong. It was George Eastham in the 1972 League Cup final between Stoke City and Chelsea, Stoke's only major trophy. Who's the only manager from the second division to win the Manager of the Year award? <laughs> Chester, Arthur? Uh, I think it's wrong. I was going to say Joe Royal. I can hand that one over. Jack Charlton, which was the first post-war FA Cup final to go to a replay? <laughs> Chester, Joe? The final whistle has beaten us. The winners of Go For Goal, our very first series, and well done to them, Preston North End. <laughs> Chester three, Preston North End four. Let's commiserate with the losers, Joe Hinnigan, Mick Miller, and Arthur Alveston. Mick, have you enjoyed it? Fabulous, fabulous, enjoyed it. Joe? Excellent, superb. Good series, you've done well. Runners-up is no mean feat in a competition uh, that has a standard as high as this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the runners-up in the 1993 Go For Goal, Chester City. <laughs> well, super final. It's been a great and memorable series. Let's bring down to the trophy area here. The winners of Go For Goal 1993, Preston North End Football Club. <laughs> I, I think you'd better act as spokesman, uh, being the senior citizen here. Uh, these two lads have a phenomenal knowledge of football for, for kids so young. They've done tremendously well, and obviously I've only made the number up. Liam has been absolutely outstanding. We have a a system at Preston where we look for volunteers, so we went, you two are going. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so you were shoved, is what you're saying? 
Is Absolutely. that right, Liam? Yeah, we never knew anything about it. We just got told we had to be here. And you turned out, you have been voted unanimously by everybody here as the man of the series. I, I, I do mean that. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam, man of the series. <laughs> now, to present the Go For Gold trophy and the cheque for £5,000, it's my pleasure to introduce a man who was involved in the quiz, actually, in the early stages when he played for Stockport County. And he made such a big impression that we've asked him back that master of man management, a legend in leadership, the one and only Baron of Better Buys, that marvellous character created by Ken Morley, you know him best as Reg Holdsworth. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of money on me. I'm not going to take out of my pocket. Shall I? Shall I? In a moment. I right, just wonder whether, whether it, like, rather like Mr. Watts, do you uh, recognise executive material in these young chaps? Well, I do indeed. Yes. And of course, having played a part in the quiz yourself, you know how difficult uh, it, it's been to win it, and how well this team have done to come away and get the oh, check and get the trophy. Yeah. Yes, it, it's uh, it's really difficult. I mean, I was flattened because everybody knew knew what they were doing, and I didn't. So you know, I thought about that, that side when I finished. <laughs> you think you know a lot, but you don't. But it was a great experience to do it, and. Uh, been good to watch tonight, sir. Well, Kent, you've got the cheque, haven't you, for have £5,000. Would you like to hand that over to Harry? Yes. Well, it's a great pleasure. This is for £5,000, as you can see. There it is. A lot of money, and it's going to charity, so a big hand, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Where's it going? We'd like to donate this to the Imperial Cancer Research. <laughs> OK, Kent, the next job, and be careful, this right, is right. heavy. Very heavy. Right. <laughs> it's the right. Copa Gold Trophy, and we think it's most appropriate that if you uh, hand it to Liam. Liam, I hope you're very happy to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well done. The Copa Gold Champions, 1993, Preston North End. Well, our special thanks to Ken Morley, to the gallant runners up Chester City and all the teams who've taken part. And thank you for watching. We hope to see you again very, very soon. But for now, from everyone here, congratulations once again to Preston. Goodbye.